Hello everyone. Now we will move on to our next debugging challenge. And this debugging challenge is based upon smart form. And the major motto is yes, to increase our debugging skills. Especially into this particular challenge, we will realize at the last that this kind of silly mistake we can also do. Because this kind of mistake can be done by any kind of professional at this point of time also. It can be fresher, it can be intermediate, it can be experienced professional. So this small, small silly mistake, but we will realize at the last and we will debug, debug, debug. And at the last, we'll come to know that this is the small mistake. And because of this, it is happening. Now we will go for same to same practice. Whatever the error smart form is there, I simply kept at the shared drive. Whatever the solution smart form is there, I simply kept at the shared drive. Suppose if I will show you, you all know this is our shared drive path. And if I will open this shared drive path, we'll simply go to debugging challenges folder. Now into this debugging challenges folder, we have error code and solution code. If I will go to error codes folder, into this error code folder, I have now another folder because for this debugging challenge, I have two things. I have driver program also, I have smart form also. So into this particular folder, I kept this driver program and I kept this smart form. You can simply, simply copy paste the program and you can upload the smart form and you will not face any difficulty because I use the standard tables VBAK and VBAP. So you will not get any syntax error. You can simply use this and the solution of the same. You can simply go to this particular solution code folder. Here we have another folder and into this folder, I simply kept the solution smart form. You can simply upload into your system or you can simply correct the mistake into the error smart form. So now we will firstly understand what is the error into this smart form. We will debug and at the last we'll come on to the solution. Suppose if I will go for this driver program, this is the driver program input is sales order number and we are displaying the output using smartphone. Suppose I am running this particular program. So firstly, I will check from VBAK table, what is the sales order number? Suppose if I will go to VBAK table, I will go to the contents. Suppose if I am going for execute, I will just take any input. Suppose I will go for sales order number two. I am passing. I will go to execute. Now I will go for print preview. Now, okay, title is coming. Sales order number two is coming. Header details, title is coming. But this out header details are not coming. Item details are coming. Now, what is the problem into this particular smart form? Header details are not appearing. So why we need to check the reason why, why the header details are not coming. So what we will do, we'll simply check the driver program and check what is the smart form. Suppose if I will go to driver program, this is the smart form. Now, if I will go for this particular smart form, so I'll just go to smart forms. Now I will put this particular smart form. Now, if I will go to global definitions, I will go to initialization. The logic is written. We are fetching data from VBAK table. We are fetching data from VBAP table. Now we will check. Are we displaying the data? I will go to page. You can see we have header values. 
in the header values we have a template and we have this creation date time username document type you can simply check first okay now suppose if i will go for creation date now if i will simply simply close and check the editor i just open the text editor again i just close ms office you can see we are passing work area hyphen er that if i will go to time we are passing work area hyphen erzdt if i will go to username so these all are header details yes ls data er num if i will go for this we are going for ls data hyphen vb type it means we are fetching the data from vb ak table if i will go to initialization we are fetching the data from vb ak table from internal table we are passing the data to work area and this work area values we are simply displaying but why these values are not displaying so what is what is the first thing we will do we we'll simply check in the debugging mode that are we is the data is coming into this internal table is the data is passing from internal table to work area this is our first approach which we will always do so i'll simply go to change mode and i will go for a break point so i will write suppose break space my username you all know this is the way to debug a smart form now i will simply go for debugging and this is the way we are always doing suppose i am running this particular program i am going for input suppose i am going for sales order number 2 i will go to print preview system will go and check now system stop based upon sales order number 2 we are fetching the data of these five columns and you can see data is into this internal table now we are passing the data from internal table to work area we are passing the data from internal table to work area now you can see the data is in work area and we are simply referring work area date work area time work area name work area document category now if i will go to execute why it is not appearing this is what we always do yes we we'll simply put the break point we will check is the data is coming or not coming now we will go for a solution or we will go for a understanding see the major thing is coming at this point of time why why we are going for checking the values if there is a problem with the values only at least label should come label should come this must be the first thing into our mind if there is a problem with the label with the with the values so at least label should come and you will not even realize or you will not even think that if the problem is with the values problem is with the data then label should at least come suppose if i will go for our header data this is our header value if i will go for this particular text if i will go to editor if i will simply go to change more change editor now you can see we have given a label creation date if the problem is with the values 
So at least these labels should appear. If label is appearing, then only in that case we should debug and check why the header values are not coming. But we will never realize this. And this kind and at this point of time also, many times if I am facing this kind of issue, I'll simply go to debugging mode and check. I will not even think yes if the problem is with the values. So at least labels should come. But in our current scenario, even labels are not appearing. Labels are not appearing. So my first target is to check is this the problem with the template itself. So this is the solution. So in that case, rather than checking the values, firstly, you need to check why the labels are not even appearing. So what we will do, we'll go for that template and we will see there is a very silly mistake there and anyone can do this kind of mistake and especially every week or every two to three days, I'm getting this kind of error from so many participants and I'm simply saying them, check your template, check your template rather than going to debugging mode. So what I will do, I will simply go to the template. And you can see, just go for the details of the template. You have 10 centimeter width, you divide it into four columns. Okay. But have you seen what is the height of the template? By mistake, I gave mm. And many times, so many people will do this kind of mistake. mm means what? <laughs> this is just one by 10 of centimeter itself. That's why it is not displaying anything. So I'll just make it as C. And this is the most, most common mistake. And it can be done by any kind of professional. You give the height this much small. So nothing, your data is correct. Everything is correct, but it is not displaying because you have not given the height. You gave one by 10th of centimeter. It means this much. So how it will display this? So now if I will simply go for this particular program, if I will run this program, if I will go for input, if I will go for print preview. So many times it is not even required to go for debugging. Now you can see everything is appearing. So the problem is not with the data, but we should click at the initial level itself. If problem is with the data, so at least label should appear. If we think in that sense, it will never, never occur. We'll simply check the template and go for the solution quickly. But yes, we realize, we should realize at the initial level. So what is the summary of this particular debugging challenge? into this particular debugging challenge, our header details are not coming. So the first thing we should always think if the problem is with the data, so at least labels should come. If this thing will click into our mind, we will not even spend lots of time in the debugging itself. We'll check firstly the template dimension. So in that case, firstly we debug, we find out, yes, everything is correct with the data. Then later we realized the problem is not with the data, problem is with the template height itself. So we simply corrected the template height and whatever the error smart form and solution smart form is there, I simply kept at the shared, right? So you can simply take it from there. So that's it in this debugging challenge. Thank you.